Welcome back to Scottish Movies and it's now time to go through what I've had uh, delivered and what I've picked up this week. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's quite a um, short one this video. Um, I've not got a hell of a lot of stuff, I'll be honest. Uh, well, anyway, uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the one delivery I had this week. Uh, now, I picked this up on CX on Monday, uh, which is its release date. And as you know, um, I tend to get a lot of my new tiles from CX because uh, they have a lot of vouchers. And uh, yeah, Monday there was a big release, and I I ordered this on CX, and did it come with a slip? No, it didn't. But I had delivered Top Gun Maverick on 4K. I think I paid about 22 quid for this. Um, yeah, annoyingly, it didn't come with a slip. I looked on the CX website; they had two two in stock. Funnily enough, both in in Manchester as well. Uh, but annoyingly, yeah, they've got rid of the slip. But um, what can you do? Um, if anyone out there has got, uh, got a slip for this they don't want, uh, feel free to uh, message me up. Um, I'd gladly take it off your hands. But um, yeah, um, awesome film this. Probably uh, easily in my top two or three of the year. Um, I was never a massive fan of the original uh, growing up. Considering it's an film, uh, it's one of the ones that I've not watched a lot. Um, uh, but this one, awesome. Uh, I can't wait to watch this in uh, 4K. So yeah, that's Top Gun Maverick. Uh, and I said that is all the deliveries for this week. Um, you may have seen on a previous video, I uh, picked up a, a couple of job lots um, of um, DVDs. And uh, I'm just going to show you now again uh, the best thing out of those whole job lots. In fact, the only thing that I actually kept, and it is the... VHS um, Blu-ray ed edition of uh, ET. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe me luck to find this in a in a free job lot. Uh, as I say, there was, there was nothing else really in there, but this this was this was quality. Um, I don't, it's the first one of these I actually own. Um, I am going to uh, pick up the Bad to the Future one maybe in the in the uh, in the future. Uh, that being one of my favourite films, but uh, happy to own ET. I do, I do actually own it on regular Amore. But uh, yeah, that, that was awesome to find. Um, and yeah, on to the charity shops over the weekend. Um, first up, I got a four for a pound from a local charity shop. Um, I was working this weekend as well, so I didn't get to uh, a real proper proper hunt around. Uh, I've not been out today either, so I've not been back there. But uh, this is what I picked up on Saturday anyway. This thing picks up is a Blu-ray. Um, I thought I wasn't sure if I had this in my collection, I don't, and it's a uh, Rio uh, animated film from, what year was this, 2011 I think it is, did it say that, 2011, um, yeah I don't actually have this in the collection, I wasn't 100% I'll be honest, uh, but yeah, happy to find that, I'm also on the lookout for Rio 2 now, uh, it's quite a good animated film, from, is, it, is it DreamWorks, um, creators of Ice Age it says, so that's cool, um, <clears throat> next thing I picked up, is a sequel to a movie I picked up on DVD. Uh, I don't know, a few weeks back, uh, got back in the collection after watching the third movie on the cinema, and it's Clerks 2. Uh, yeah, I watched Clerks 3, um, enjoyed it. Um, wanted to uh, give this one a rewatch, but obviously didn't have it. Uh, happy to find that, so as soon as I saw that, I uh, picked it up. So I'm looking forward to watching Clerks 2 again, and um, as well as, as Clerks 1 as, as well. Um, but yeah, I remember this being a pretty funny sequel, so yeah, happy to have that back in the collection. Um, <clears throat> next one, excuse me, I picked up is a sort of monster um, movie from, I think this is 1999. And yeah, I've been on the lookout for this in, in charity shops. I don't know if it's got a Blu-ray release or not um, in this country, or and I'm not too sure. But um, this is a, I say, monster movie. It's part mystery, part thriller, part missing. It's quite a cool tagline. And it's Lake Placid. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen this. 
like a giant sort of alligator or crocodile. Is it an alligator? Uh, I don't know. One of them. Doesn't say, but I think he's probably prehistoric. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I look forward to give that a rewatch. Uh, like I say, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I remember it being a lot of fun. That's Lake Placid. And the final one I picked up is Pot of Four for a Quid. Um, I'll be honest, I, I only picked this up because I thought it may have uh, had a bit of value in CEX. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't have my phone on me at the time, so I couldn't check it. It turns out it's only worth 10p, but <laughs> picked up series three and four box set of Sean the Sheep. Uh, it's got a, a 50 episodes and six hours of Sean the Sheep on here. Uh, it's funny, actually, I did actually enjoy the uh, the Sean the Sheep movies and the, and the sequels in Farmageddon. They were quite fun. I've never really seen any of the TV series. Uh, and when I was actually looking uh, looking this up, I did actually discover that um, I think it's series two. goes from, um, You can get a voucher for about nine quid for series two, so... There is, there is some value in image, unfortunately, it wasn't this one, but uh, picked it up anyway. I was like, I couldn't check it. Uh, and that was four for a pound. Um, then later that afternoon, this was Saturday, uh, I did pop to another charity shop locally, um, and uh, they didn't really have any DVDs, to, but I did manage to find a couple of uh, video games. Um, just move them out of the way. Uh, and... As you know, I pick up a lot of video games to try and train in CX. And the occasional one, if you need it or I want it, I'll keep it in the collection. Uh, and that goes for this one. Uh, this is a Lego game for the Xbox 360. And I paid two quid for this. It only actually trades for three quid in CX, but I wanted to get it back in the collection. And that's Lego Jurassic World. Uh, this actually is the game of all uh, four, I think it was four, is it four? I think all four four films at the time of release um, and I have actually finished this on the PlayStation 4 years back um, and uh, I wanted to get it back in the collection it's a lot of fun and uh, I've seen it for the 360 so I thought I'd grab it and the next one I picked up again for £2 uh, it's a title that I'm always on the lookout for in charity shops uh, it's not something that I'm really interested in I did have this once on the PlayStation 4 and got rid of it and it is one that if you find in charity shops is a good trade into CX and that's Minecraft. Uh yeah, I paid two pounds for this, so it's trading for eight in CX. Um as does I think the PlayStation 3 version as well, if you come across that. I'll show it which I have done in the past. And I think the I think or, or I think the majority of the um Minecrafts hold the value. Um I don't know what it is, but yeah. Uh so yeah, pick that up so that'll be going to CX. Um, and that is all the pickups for this week. Um, yeah, comment down below uh, if you've seen any of these films or you know what is is Top Gun Maverick your film of the year? Um, are you a fan of uh, Sean the Sheep? Um, and yeah, um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and click the bell for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.